Hi, my name is David Brown. I'm an applications engineer for Hawk Ridge Systems, and today we're going to look at the wrap command. And we're going to create these triangular shapes around this cylinder using that. So basically what I'm going to do is I begin this with just a portion of that cylinder. And in order to create this feature, I need to have three separate wrap commands. Each wrap command can only contain a single enclosed contour. You can't use open contours. So what we're going to do is I need to insert a plane that's parallel to the front plane or right plane, doesn't matter, and tangent to the surface of this cylinder. So I'm going to choose my front plane, reference geometry, a plane. My second reference is this here and I hit OK. So now what I'm going to do is begin my sketch on this plane. And to do this, I'm going to use a corner rectangle. Just going to place this on there. And I'm going to make it for construction. And I'm going to dimension this and position this in relation to the cylinder. I want to have enough room on the top for one of my wraps. And I'm going to attach this right to the edge of that. Now here's the important one. I'm going to dimension this. And once I get my dialog box up, I hit the equal sign to go into a uh, setting up an equation. I select the face of the cylinder and choose the diameter dimension that's displayed times pi. This ensures that the distance or length of my construction geometry here, my rectangle, equals the circumference of the cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mentioning this. Grab my line. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to break this bottom segment into segments, actually. Choose my segment tool. Select that line, add five sketch points in there, hit OK, and now I can begin to draw my triangles. And I'm just going to make sure that I am setting coincident relationships only to this construction geometry and tying these to these segment points. That helps me lay this out very easily. Once I get that done, then I select all of these and make them equal. That fully defines this sketch. Now I'm going to offset this, the width of my blades. And then I'm going to need to enclose the ends. So I'll draw a line down far enough so that I can extend this line to it. And then trim that. I'll do the same thing with the other side. Take a line far enough down so that I can trim that. And I want to make sure that this stays collinear and fully defined. I don't want anything that's un under defined because I want to make sure that if I make changes to my cylinder that will fully define that. Okay, now I'm fully defined. Exit my sketch. With the sketch selected, I'll now choose my wrap command, choose the face, and hit OK. And that fully defines that shape. The next thing I want to do is I want to do the circular portions. If I go back to my cylinder, I want to do these cylindrical portions up here. And I need to do those in a separate wrap command. So again, I select that plane, begin a sketch, and this time I'm just going to put a, a rectangle on here. Try that again. 
and I'm going to make this the same distance as my other blades. And what I need in this one is I need a center point or a center line going down through here so that I can position this and I'm going to select this and one of the vertexes and make that coincident to position that on there. I'll drag this end over, make it coincident to the edge of my part and now I can dimension this and again I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the other one and build that equation times pi. OK. Exit my sketch. With the sketch selected, choose wrap. The face. Direction of pull. And now I'm able to fully put that on there. Hide that plane so you can see it. Now I do the same thing on the bottom part. And then what I would do is, let's take a look at how I finished this cylinder. If you want to do that, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and I'll step through this for you. So here's how I did that. Created the cylinder, inserted the plane in the first wrap, and the other two wraps. And basically what I did here is I did these half the thickness that I want, that I, I needed. On the top I needed a little bit of a space so I had to, uh, I have to delete this and I clean that up. So now I have an exact shape. And when I double that, when I mirror that, that thickness that's half over here actually create, adds to the other and makes my full thickness there. And then I continue to mirror to get my full cylinder. I add the thickness on the top to make these ribs the same thickness. I add some extrusions to ex uh, extend my cylinder. Then I add the tab. What I like to do, a lot of times I like to take individual features and group them into a folder. That makes them easier to manage. I'll mirror that to the other side. Create another mirror plane in the middle, mirror the, those two to the other end. And then all I have to do is cut the mounting hole in the middle. So that's a little uh, bit of the wrap command and, and using pi in a, an equation to make sure that my wrap sketch stays uh, the same length as the circumference of my cylinder. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to Hawk Ridge Systems YouTube channel and thanks for watching.